G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Duke Mods and on this episode we have something very special to show you guys. Now in the last episode we did talk about a project that we were going to do and today is the day. We've actually already started it so... It's we not... actually, yeah, so um, let's, uh, let's go take a look. So it is a 1995 Nissan Putrol coil Nissan cap. Nissan Putrol... Troll... Putrol coil cap. TD42, coils all the way around. Bought it second hand, obviously. How uh, many Ks did it have? 440 on the motor. An easy 440. So, uh... 40,000 kilometers. So, uh, Luke's taken upon himself to do a full rebuild. Copping a ground up. It's gonna take about a year. Probably. It's a 12 month thing, I reckon. Yeah. The thing is, I want it to be legal. Yes. Um, so that means engineering, unfortunately. I wanted to go with the, the four inch lift, 35s, canopy, full alley tray, everything. We're gonna go sort of ground up, build. It's getting something special that should be coming fairly soon is chassis braces, um, extended shock towers, uh, motor's getting a rebuild. That's getting some pretty cool bits and pieces thrown into it. Um, what else have we got? Interior is going to be all blacked out and a little bit custom. We're not going over our heads because it, it's a traveling car. It's not a Ferrari, so I don't know why everyone thinks you need to spend twenty thousand dollars on an interior. Um, Tactic. It's fully edited though. All right. <laughs> but yeah, just sort of going to go with some nice bits and pieces. Everything's going to be braced, strong, reliable. Hopefully, it's got good bones. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. It'll be good. It's a good. Uh, it's a good canvas for a full rebuild. Um, They're not complicated. They're fairly easy to work on. Um, it's got a long range tank already in it. It's actually got two tanks. The way that this one works is it actually from this tank, it's got a like a bilge pump sort of idea, and it just pumps into the uh, primary tank. Which, yeah, we're going to try and keep some of the nice bits and pieces, but it's got a. Nice, healthy crack right in the chassis. Right there. Ooh, Someone's lovely. attempted to weld. Attempted it Probably is. wasn't a welder. Um, the interior is pretty much gutted. We've, we've already started on this car, obviously. Yeah. We'll put a photo of the car up in this corner here, so you can actually take a look at it before all of this stuff happened. I did flex it up on the forklift at work. Nice. Um, oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah, that? yeah, yeah. That's, cool. that's cool. So it actually had decent flex because it's a four inch lift at the moment and it's got no sway bars. It drives like a boat. Um, There's a big giant poo wood. Yeah, red it's, poo. It's like driving poo down the hallway. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to try and all this is going to get sort of blacked out, all the headlines all ripped and like, yeah, just needs a freshen up. Um, already started getting parts. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna say too much, but there's a pile of parts over there, so yeah. it's gonna be exciting. It's gonna be yeah, exciting. It's gonna be a lot going on. This is a project that's I've wanted to do. I wanted to do a ground up build for a long time. And you've had you've had many pro, uh, cars that you've bought that were gonna be projects. Projects. Yeah. Um, never anything practical. <laughs> MX5, yes. uh, Hilux, Hilux, three Land Cruisers, three Land Cruisers. Um, so yeah, now this is going to be be the one. Well, I've already committed myself to it, so already a fair chunk of change into it. Um, so yeah, might as well get to it. Yep. But so what we've done so far, we should probably go through that. Um, gearbox, motor, obviously being ripped out. There's a whole bunch of parts and stuff up in those boxes. There's the doors are off because we're not using those doors anymore, and they're wrecked anyways. There's a whole bunch of panel damage just under there. So, probably going to fold up a bit of two mil steel just to put it in there instead. We're going to chop all the all of it out and make sure it's all rust proof and everything. Uh, what else? Front drive shaft out, gearbox is out. That's going off to a place to get it. Not rebuilt. Oh, I might get it rebuilt. Oh, they'll just do a swap and a swap over. Um, transfer case is getting rebuilt. Everything. What I want to do is have as close to a new car as you can get without having all the safety and sensors and all that other crap. Our motor is going off to get rebuilt, hopefully pretty soon. Um, nothing too fancy is going to go with that. We're going to go sort of a little bit more of the, the conservative side 
I don't know why everyone thinks you need a thousand horsepower to go off roading. <laughs> Heard that a lot actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, LS swapped the um, patrol with guys. Yeah, Come on. With a turbo and five superchargers, why not? <laughs> Alrighty guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to see something done in particular to this car, um, if you want a, a tutorial or anything like that, please comment down below and we'll be sure to make that video. So, we'll see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm. Catch you later.